Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well, and just wanted to come on here briefly and just make a stream of consciousness type of video. I don't see the point in really making, you know, topic related videos all the time because there's just, there's just a tsunami of shit that's out there. I mean, I think as long as you're aware of that, that the world out there, the outer world here is really just a tsunami, a tidal wave of feces, of shit. We're being lied to through academia, in the media, through politics, entertainment, uh, through the court. I'm um, through the courts. I mean, through through everything, the legal system, whatever. They're they're just that's all these people do is lie to us, and the establishment that we have is made to exploit. It's not made to serve people. It's not made to serve us. It's made to exploit us and to manipulate us and deceive us and lie to us. We, we've been lied to our entire freaking lives. You know? Um, they, they've lied to us about just about everything. Damn near everything. Everything, anything of, of real true substance, anyway. So... The only way to really make any semblance of, of have any semblance of peace in this world is just to learn how to ignore shit. I, I mean, it's one thing to keep tabs on what they're doing, quote unquote. However, what I've come to realize is, and no, I don't have any uh, peer-reviewed scientific proof for this. There are there there's spiritual warfare going on. Okay, there's a war going on uh, for your for your soul, really, like to keep your soul trapped here in this mess that's really fundamentally what's going on you could say consciousness if you don't like the word soul or whatever but to, for people that actually believe that there is not consciousness outside of the human body is just absolutely ridiculous it, it, it's laughably ridiculous so really the crux of the matter is just you know Forging your own path in life, carving your own, carving your own, uh, carving out an existence here that with it, with some semblance of peace and some semblance of, of of reasonability, you know. And how do you do that? I think the really one of the ways you got to do that is just learning to said like I like I said, just learn to ignore crap because there are triggers everywhere. We all get triggered. That's how the mind. That's how the mind is is wired. Really, it's mind to get triggered by things. At least that's how it was. It was trained, you know, from the time that we were born and brought into this world. Okay, and something, something. I, I've just had to stop listening to people to certain media outlets because I just found that okay. Well, maybe I agree with most of what they're saying. I just that the things I don't agree with them on, or, or some of the things that they say from time to time that they slip in there, just they just. Yeah, I, I get triggered. We all have our triggers. And it's it's not enough for me to, you know, jump on there and, you know, type a comment and, you know, bitch and want to complain how I don't like what they're doing. I don't like how their shit smells, right? If I don't like if I don't like how their shit smells, then I just stop smelling their shit. That's pretty much what it is. I'm going to get on here and make my own content and be a voice of reason. Because maybe that sounds audacious to people. However, I... Don't really see too many voices of reason out here on on social media, and the ones that were voices of reasons, they they're usually the ones who don't upload content very often because they realize that people don't the vast majority of people aren't going to listen to reason. They're just purely reactionary. They're purely reactionary. There's no real original thought. They're just reacting to stimuli. You know, if if you're not, if you as 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 awareness, if you if you don't take awareness over your thoughts and your and, and your life, then somebody else will. You know, someone or someone else is is animating your existence, is animating your thoughts and your reality here. You know, well, people want to say this is a false reality, a lot of people, and I would say that yeah, that's probably true, and that definitely is true. I don't doubt that at all at this point however 
I'm not really here to hold a cinder block over people's heads and try to convince them of that. That's not my business. That's not my gig. Okay, I'm not a guru. I'm not going to sit here and proclaim to be some expert like so many people do. And what you'll notice is most of those people are, um, you know, charging money to make a living because people are <laughs> are just, uh, they need to be influenced, right? You hear this, this new term, this relatively new term of social media influencer, right? Because people need to be influenced, right? They need to be influenced. They can't influence themselves, so they need to be influenced by external factors, which is pretty sad. You know, so if you take anything away from my content is just to learn to be be your own primary cause, be your own primary influence in your day to day life. Don't don't listen. Don't even listen to what I say. Fuck what I who cares to fuck what I say. I'm just some guy, you know, with. Uh, with a modest, you know, uh, platform here on social media social media, which is increasingly becoming uh, more and more hostile to free speech, to true free speech, okay? And uh, by free speech, no, I don't mean, I don't mean uh, defamation, right? Or uh, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, defamation, where you are, or slander, where you're, you know, you're publicly accusing somebody of, you know, criminality or something like that, right? Um and that's not to say that's not the same as you know oh i think this guy's an asshole and i disagree with what he's saying i think he's i think he's saying some stupid shit or whatever uh that's not defamation that's not slander okay that's just disagreeing with somebody and and sharing your opinion now you could say that um well it's slander you know it it might sound slanderous and yeah maybe the maybe some of the lines are blurred however you got to you got to err on the side of uh, of freedom of speech because the, the suppression of freedom of speech people are is so fundamentally uh, anti-life it's anti it's anti just it, it's just the most dis disgusting despicable thing that that could that could happen that any establishment can enforce on the populace and that's exactly what's happening and people say that well face Facebook and uh, YouTube and Google and all these uh, Twitter whatever all these uh, these tech these tech uh, these big tech companies these tech oligarchs right well they're private companies so you know they can enforce their policies and blah 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 no they are these these entities are public utilities Okay, they have taken the place of the public square. They are public. Uh, they are public utilities. They are absolutely public utilities. So these, these, uh, these entities, these tech companies, need to be held to task. Need to be held accountable to uphold the law of the land for whatever context, for whatever nation or society that they live in. Now, obviously, in the United States, uh, and as, as screwed up as things are here, the United States really is the last bastion of any semblance of free speech on this planet. And that's uh, that's pretty sad to say, because it, it, it's pretty bad here. Um, Canada and, and, and places in Europe and probably other places in the world, I know in Russia, you're not allowed to question certain aspects of history that... Uh, make a certain chosen group of individuals, make a, so a, ch a certain chosen group of people, chosen, quote-unquote, I won't use the actual real word, but people who have been following me for a while um, know about my, my sentiments, know exactly who the hell I'm talking about. The people who own all these platforms and all these tech companies, it paints, you know, you know certain aspects of history, certain uncomfortable truths of history paint these people in, in an unfavorable light. Okay, and you start to see, you start to connect the dots, you know, from history leading up to the present day that these people never lost their stranglehold over the levers of power in, in society around the world, in societies and countries around the world. The only thing that I really learned from history is that humans don't learn from history. 
that, that that's the most profound lesson of history is that we don't learn from history i mean i do i'm trying but most people don't most people are just content with living with their heads up their asses you know being like being uh like puppets on a string like i said if you're not the primary influence and, and the primary cause in your life somebody or something else will fill that role for you and in all likelihood it's not going to lead anywhere good it's not going to lead anywhere it's not going to lead to freedom or, or any sort of liberation in in the real sense so yeah that's it this is over this is just getting over 10 minutes now so well i'll cut it off here so i'm going to do this more often i'm just going to come on here and give more stream of consciousness type of type of content and yeah because like i said maybe, maybe i'll do some uh, topic driven topic related uh, videos as well if you all have any suggestions or questions or feedback or whatever um i'd love to hear it yeah that's it i'll uh i'll talk to you guys soon peace